Hello and hi everyone! Welcome back to day 9 of designing an island without spending any bells. I have some news for you guys. I managed to get Shevd to move off my island. Isabel, I already announced it. You don't have to tell the world. <laughs> I already beat you to it, girl. Not only that, I managed to get other things done too because I decided to play a little bit ahead. But before I get into those, how about we get into our morning quests? I'm gonna pick some mushrooms, find my bottle on the beach, and water my flowers. All right, first things first, I have a new villager. <laughs> it's T-Bone. He actually came through the campsite and filled out the empty plot and I'm so happy. Look at this man. T-Bone, you're such a lifesaver, thank you. So, so far I have four villagers on my island that I wanna have and then just six more that I need to get rid of. Rocket, Mott, T-Bone, and Violet. Those are the ones I'm keeping. And then the others I just, I have to boot off eventually. Oh yeah, and Chev is moving. So we're already on that track. Perfect, love it. I decided to go out actually on a mysterious Cap'n Island and got rid of a lot of my flowers because I don't have a trash can and I still need a DIY for that. So also I went on a, quite a few actually, quite a few Cap'n Islands and I got myself some vines. So now we can use them on the cliffs and I get to climb. <laughs> places. Yippee! So exciting. Oh yeah, I have potatoes too. I tried to get the boring stuff out of the way so we could at least have fun today and do things. Maybe we'll go for a villager hunt. Maybe we'll do another build today. Who knows at this point? There's so much to do, but so little that I know what to do. Actually, one thing that I do want to get on is basically build either the Nook's Cranny or build Rocket's house. I considered her my little Barbie of the island. I just want to decorate her house in the lavish pink stuff that that she desires. I'm just gonna whip out my map here and then I'm gonna kind of plan out what I want to do essentially. All right, so we're done this area. My house, it's done, it's complete. As for the cliff areas, I can't put any people's houses there because then they can't get down or unless I can. I don't really care if they can get down or not. It doesn't really affect me. The campsite's done, the museum's done. I still have the entrance, nooks, cranny, basically everywhere else. I was also thinking of making a neighborhood. I just don't know where to put the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Maybe I'll make like a circular neighborhood. Actually, one thing I want to get straight on is fixing this river part. I don't like how it looks and I just like to have one river stream and that's it. So let's go do that. I don't know how long this is going to take to be honest with you guys. Hopefully not long. Here's to wishful thinking. I found my money tree. Just plant this bad boy and then go work on our waterscaping. Here we are. All right, let's get to work, shall we? All right, so I have fixed the waterscaping. Um, I just created like a small little pondish area here, but not really, it's kind of still connected to the river. I was thinking of putting a house here. I don't know who's yet, but probably a house or maybe like the neighborhood, but I don't know if I want it close to the campsite. I don't know yet, we shall find out. Or maybe I could put like a, a build here, who knows? I'll find out eventually when I get to it. Okay, so what we could do now is actually time skip to the next day and maybe go for one villager hunt. Okay, first I need to find some nook miles. Hold on, what do I need to do here? Okay, not much. I'm just gonna hope for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, skipping to the next day. Oh, well, nice. I don't have to water my flowers today. I like that. All right, we're back on the next day. Gulliver's on my island. So how about before I decide to get Nook Miles, I'll help the little boy out. All right, where's the stinky man? There he is. Gulliver, what did I say about installing railings on your ship? What happened to that? Wakey, wakey. Gulliver, honey, I don't know how many times we gotta go through this, but you know your phone's gonna get broken. I think this is the third time now. Jesus, where are you getting the money? Oh, I guess you are a pirate, so <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I oh, know he's not a pirate, but whatever, sailor boy, same thing. All right, let's look for these parts. Free, I don't, there's a thing right there. I'm, I don't mean to talk to you, go away. Oh, and it's not even a part. Dang it. One, two, three, four, and five. Time to return the parts now. All right, Gulliver, here's your parts. I got them for you. All right, Uh, what was I supposed to do again? Oh yeah, okay, so we gotta get some nook miles. Um, can we even do that? I could chop wood and assess fossils, but that's basically it. All right, let's get to work. Do you guys like my growing collection of gyroids? <laughs> They're a talented sort of bunch. <laughs> Look at them go. Anyways, getting distracted. Fossils have been assessed. Let's get these nook miles and see where we're at. All right, I only need 400 more. How about we do something from the big list? Oh, I could do this one. Okay, let's go do that then. I know I have flowers inside my little box inside the resident services 
boxes, so let's go grab those. Hi guys, it's been a long time. I don't normally come in here anymore unless I want to use the ABD machine. Must suck being useless at your job at this point. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys are very hardworking. Okay, let's plant these flowers here, and that should give us our nook miles. Yep, I was right. Perfect, perfect. We need 100 more. Oh, we could do this one. Okay, I have coconuts. I could go plant the coconuts. I'm trying to avoid selling anything at the nook's cranny because I'm scared that if I do put money into their business, they're gonna expand it to the better one. And I don't want that. I want it to stay the little shack. So that's why I'm avoiding selling anything of use to them because I don't wanna, I don't wanna put money into their business. <laughs> All right, where's my coconuts? There they are. I knew I held on to you guys for a reason. I'm just gonna plant it on land because I don't really want coconuts. <laughs> it's not really fitting the vibe of my island. So there we go. It's like a little plant instead. And bam, more nook miles. Look at that. All right, so we can finally go villager hunting. Just one though, nothing else. All right, so I have a nook mile ticket. My pockets are empty. Let's go villager hunting. Ah, oh, bamboo island, seriously? <laughs> I didn't want that. Garbage. Ugh. Well, this island kind of blows. All right. Well, we have a bottle at least. Let's check out who our villager is. No, really? Why? Why are you here? Ugh. Soleil, that's so rude of you to show up on this island. This island was honestly a slap to the face, so let's hope the bottle makes up for it. It does not. It really does not. I wasted my nook miles on this. <laughs> no. Well, that sucked. Well, I guess my only option left is to basically time skip until someone takes that freaking plot. Yeah, let's do that. That. Why not? Why are we watching a dragonfly? Oh, it's Prince. <laughs> I thought the I thought the camera was on the dragonfly. <laughs> All right. Well, first let's check what Gulliver sent us in the mail. Hopefully it's the pyramid. <laughs> All right. What is it? What is it? It's the pagoda, not the pyramid. Sad. Here, Violet, do you want the pagoda? This is for you. <laughs> It's so out of place, but it's hers now. <laughs> All right, anyone move in the plot? Oh, we did. Okay. Oh, hello, T-Bone. You know what burns my beans? Oh, what, uh, what burns your beans? When somebody's got troubles, but don't show any reaction and they expect me to pick up on it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, you're teaching me worry. What are you teaching me here? Are you teaching me to be upset or to worry? Okay, worry. Thank you, T-Bone. What a lifesaver. <laughs> Anyways, let's check who bought the plot. Bettina's. Wait, no, 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 no. Is this a mouse? Gosh, dang it. I'm pretty sure I put Bettina's. Bettina way down at the bottom of the list. What the heck, Bettina? Why are you moving here? She's just causing more work for me. Does anyone want to move off? Well, at least we got an extra Cosmo. That's nice. I'm actually thinking of maybe working on the nooks and cranny now. I don't know. What I'm thinking for it is actually like, uh, <laughs> picture a garage sale, okay? There's just a bunch of stuff in the front of the house or the garage or whatever. In this case, it's gonna be the nooks cranny. So there's just gonna be boxes everywhere, a bunch of junk, <laughs> because I don't know, they're a store and they're trying to sell stuff. Luckily, I do have a lot of junk. <laughs> I just have a bunch of it. I don't know if they're any good, but it's it's junk. All right, let's get started on that. Hello and hi everyone. Welcome back to Voice Over Shauna. Just a quick warning. I did bite my tongue, so it is kind of swollen. So apologies in advance for that. <laughs> I was just, I was eating a croissant. I was really hungry for it, but I got too eager and just bit my tongue. So another thing too that I would like to warn you guys is I'm holding my pop filter. So if you hear like... That's just me uh, nervously holding it in hand. <laughs> Anyways, I probably should talk about the build instead of talking about my tongue and my pop filter. So again, I wanted to make like an outdoors kind of garage sale. I don't know why this came to mind. I just kind of wanted to look like the nooks and cranny was like, I don't know, it just, you find like junk. In my head though, I was kind of thinking, wouldn't someone steal something? But my villagers are too nice for that, even though they're kind of like on the uggo list and I have very bad intent with their storylines for, you guessed it, my spooky mystery murder island theme, which by the way, I'm super excited for. I've never streamed before and that's what I plan on doing is streaming and playing along the story of my murder mystery, obviously with you guys. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna be nervous. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's gonna be my first stream. So who knows at this point? Also, ow, my tongue really hurts. Someone did warn me too about putting too many trees uh, around my island and saying that it would take away away from my star rating, which it's fine. I, I'm not really focused on the star rating anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I would rather a pretty island than a, a nice star rating, <laughs> honestly. Let me decorate how I wanna decorate, Isabel. Why do you have to complain? No one else is. Ugh. Jesus, holding this pop filter just really hurts and cramps my hand. And I have a gorilla grip on it right now. I don't know why I didn't set it up. I just, I didn't feel like it, you know? Sometimes you gotta go against the grain and that's exactly what I'm doing. Anyways, I just, I also wanna mention about hitting 3000 subscribers. What the heck guys? <laughs> 
where are you guys coming from? That's insane to me. Just like a few days ago, I was at 2,000 and now I'm at 3,000, which is like insane to me. How many milestones do I have to go through here? Thank you, first of all. That is like, it just, it blows my mind. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for the support. And it's just out of this world. I've always wanted to do YouTube and the fact that you guys are giving me the opportunity to do so is just, it's such a great feeling inside knowing that I have your guys' help and support. You guys have my back essentially. And I don't know, it just makes me so happy that I have this chance to prove to myself and to other people that I can do it. And if I can do it, so can you. If you guys want to do YouTube, I honestly, the best suggestion that I have is just do it. Start somewhere. The more that you just keep it off, the more that you're going to regret not starting. Honestly, I wish I started sooner knowing that you guys are so nice. Like my goodness, I wish I started like five years ago, but I guess Animal Crossing wasn't out then, but still. Oh, I guess uh, we're at the ending of the speed build. Uh, okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for listening listening to me ramble and thank you so much for the 3000 milestone that's insane to me also sorry for the tongue i feel like i have a lisp right now anyways thank you and teeth do better next time why do you have to bite my tongue it has a my mind of its own sometimes anyways yeah <laughs> back to in game shauna all right i am back and my cat has joined me <laughs> would you like to say something honey no <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the Nook's Cranny. Um, as you can see, I did exactly what I wanted. Just I used a bunch of junk that I had that I knew that I wasn't gonna use, but I used it. <laughs> and then I also created this path over here, making its way over to the bridge. I could have done more with the like forestry of it all, but um, I don't have enough trees. <laughs> I've run low. So this is what we have. I, I hope it's good. Because <laughs> if not, then that kind of sucks for me. I'm going to time skip to tomorrow and then probably end it there, but we'll see. And we're back. So I did skip two days instead of just the one. So as you can see, Bettina is out of her house. I don't know what she's doing exactly. Let's go say hello. What are you trying to catch? There's nothing here. All right. Hi, Bettina. I can't hear anything. The band's going crazy next to us. <laughs> You go guys, <laughs> you're doing great. Main reason why I wanted to skip a few days was actually for the trees, cause I don't want the trees to be full grown. Not these ones anyways. So I'm just gonna plant these little guys and hope to God that they won't grow. I'm terrible at making sure that my trees don't grow. So hopefully this does the trick. Please stop growing. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I really do appreciate you guys support and everything. It's been wonderful. I love the community that we built together. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.